Fralick, Lauren Petrowski, and Zach Shields. Hi, welcome back everyone, 931. Hey there, Zach. It's, it's strange not having you over here on the couch. No, we miss you. Yeah. We miss you. Do you can miss you hear us? Me? Yeah, yes. can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> miss you guys. Had to come what are we back doing? Are we acting the final scene in Armageddon or something? Uh, no. <laughs> Hello. So, all right, he's, yeah, he's I want right. to thank uh, Chelsea for filling in the last uh, couple of days. I'm starting to feel old around here. My back gave in, and I appreciate that. Uh, so that's why I'm sitting over here. It's not because I don't like my co-anchors anymore. <laughs> I think we're good. It's yeah, just, I can't come stand over here. up Do we smell okay? Uh, so happy to report. No, I don't have a cold front in the picture, but I do see lots of sunshine in our future uh, today with a decent warm-up. It's 80 degrees right now. Those 80s will turn into low 90s. A little bit above average with heat of the season, triple digit ter territory. Uh, some of us could see a cooling shower, but the chances are pretty low, even though our future cast very aggressive on bringing in those widely scattered showers. I think it's going to be more isolated in between Austin and the coast, not only today, but also tomorrow. Tracking upper low coming in uh, from the western Gulf with the highest rain totals for the rest of the week. Coastal plains are up there in the panhandle where they could pick up inches of rain. Back here in the capital city, mostly sunny in the morning, partly cloudy in the afternoon. Highs. Heating up to 93 with a 20% chance of a stray shower. No airport delays coast to coast. Uh, that could change in the heartland. Uh, there's a decent front heading that way that's going to fire off some severe storms from the Texas Panhandle into the Midwest. That same low will try to force that front a little bit closer to us. That's why I've increased the rain chances just a bit to 40% late Saturday, and then we'll drop them just like that, 30%. And then no more rain, it looks like, as we go into early next week. No strong cold fronts heading this way. I don't see our first fall front just yet. Uh, so we'll keep our highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s this weekend and beyond. Zach, thank you for that. All right, being paired up with a random roommate when you get to college stresses out a lot of people. A student at UCLA is going viral after posting a message she received from her soon-to-be roommate. Witty, whose picture's in the video, posted the email she received earlier this month. She says it's from a girl named Ashley, whom she had not yet met. In the long email, Ashley sent a list of demands to Witty and their other roommate, Stephanie. Ashley wanted the top bunk, the desk by the window, and one of the two closets for herself. The girls answered the email, calling out Ashley for being rude. Ashley answered back, defending her tone, and said she would move out if they wanted her to. It's not clear what happened with the whole situation. I think that's a D-I-V-A. Diva. Wow. Did y'all have random roommates? No, yeah, I, I, I did. College, I did. School. Yeah, and I lived with three other girls, kind of like a two-bedroom situation but um it was yeah it was pretty really? scary no i mean it worked out great right but you know not knowing who you're going to be paired up with if you're going to be well, with someone like that yeah, luckily that i didn't day, have that situation the first day you moved but, into your dorm room but my uh my roommate and i uh roomed together even after yeah we, we got too. out we did yeah That's we went into an apartment together and i just situation. went to her wedding a few months ago so yeah. great relationship was, i think it this is ashley's out. master plan she wanted to be by herself she wants her own room i don't know if she's going to get her own room. Master Mawad. She's getting those two people one way. Very they're, they're, yeah. they're running and hiding. Yeah. All right. An 18 year old girl in Australia is going after her parents for posting embarrassing photos of her on Facebook. She's now suing them for posting more than 500 images of her on their pages since 2009. The teen says that they knew no shame and no limit and didn't care whether it was a picture of me sitting on the toilet or lying naked in my cot. The father claims that since he took the photos, he has the right to publish them. They will go to court in November. This is a really interesting debate, yeah. and I'm sure a lot of people will be looking to see what is decided from all of this. Do you have the right to just post as many photos of your child as you want on social media platforms? Well, I think yes. we all think we do. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But do you? Well, yes. and there's there's a I lot of decided. there's I'm a lot the of parents who have had their you know even before their child was born, you make that pregnancy announcement on Facebook or social media, then you show the sonogram and slowly but surely as as they grow up, so you do wonder. Well, hopefully they're not bothered by being in your tummy, but yes, I could see exactly. like you little, know. I don't know, little but naked living, baby or something. Well, that's the fun but, of it. But, but the cute picture of them in the tub, I mean, you well, got it. They may not, they may not want that out there, maybe, you know, and they have no say when they were what, little. After you like pursue litigation, then it's here we go. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's an right. interesting debate. Yeah. Some runners hoping to qualify for the Boston Marathon had to come to a dead stop during the race last weekend. 
Of course, for the Lehigh Valley Marathon in Pennsylvania, crosses over some railroad tracks that the organizers say they were sure the trains wouldn't be running uh. during the race. Of course, yeah. that's exactly what happened. So at mile seven, the runners had to wait up to nine minutes wow. for the train. Organizers adjusted the runners' times, but they, uh, the organizers for the Boston Marathon said they, they can't accept oh, these times. that's not fair. Yeah. I want to see somebody like that running in play. Seven minutes. I mean, you're just getting into your stride Man, in seven minutes. I wouldn't minutes. have thought it was unfortunate. I'd be like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> good, great, good, great. <laughs> I'd on my knees. Should we finish? Yeah. yeah, it's probably one of the many reasons why I'm never running in the Boston no. Marathon. No. Still ahead, we've got Whole Foods in studio with our Thursday's meal. It's some apples going. Stay with us.